What is going on my fellow warriors? Evelyn here. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be preparing two abilities. We're we'll preparing Shadow Colossus versus Sharpened Blade. And the reason I'm not using Storm of Destruction is because this doesn't really increase your damage. Well, it does get you out of CC more. It kind of doesn't leave you in that situation where you would actually need to burst something with Shadow Colossus and Sharpened Blade would. So in this video, like I said, I'm going to be preparing these two abilities. And we're going over what's more bursty, what does more damage overall in the arena situation. So, in the first foremost, we'll be attacking this test dummy here to show you guys the burst for both specs. I'll be doing Shadow Colossus first, and then Sharpened Blade second. So, let's get straight into it. I'm going to burst this test dummy first. I'm going to change my stats though. As you guys can see on the screen, I'm going to show you guys the stats of the actual arena. And then I'm going to change into this gear here, which will allow you guys to see that I actually have nerve to around kind of same stat stats. Now, I've no unused trinkets here apart from this, which is not really increasing damage. So there will be no increased damage here at all. This is all going to be just what you roughly would have in the arena. So let's get over it. So Shadow Classes first and then Sharpen Blade ever. Let's make sure I have the right spec in both though just to be sure. So there's no... Yeah, okay. So I'm going to charge in here and just do my rotation on both. Okay, so now you've seen a minute burst from Sharp Blade and from Shadow Classes. You can see that overall Shadow Classes reset double the amount of Cluster Smash procs that Sharp Blade did. And it also did over 3 million more damage than you could have got from Sharp Blade. So that means overall Shadow Classes does do slightly bit more damage. But let's see what it looks like in an actual arena situation. So I'm going to show you guys 4 arenas. 2 arenas using Shadow Classes and 2 arenas Sharp Blade. And then I'm going to go over the arenas afterwards. And let you guys know how I feel, what did more damage, what did proc more, what did get more of this and that. And then we'll go over actual burst on the actual specs in an arena situation. So let's get straight into the arenas.
So guys, after you got all the four clips you just seen, I actually had about 30 clips I think I went through all of them to pick the four best clips for you guys. And now I'm going to pick the two best, which was Niagara and Sharp and Blade Arena and Ashman's Fall Shadow Colossus Arena. Now the two of them, I'm going to compare the times that I wasn't in combat or the times at the start of the video where I didn't get into combat and the original times I was CC'd and minus all that from the time. And then I'm going to compare the time to the damage and I kind of divide the damage by the time and as you can see there's a lot of calculations in this where I'm going to work out roughly how much more damage one did than the other Danger Will Robinson Danger Danger Will Robinson Danger So first and foremost Shadow Colossus versus Sharp and Blade So Shadow Colossus arena lasted 1 minute and 23 seconds There's 3 seconds at the start where I wasn't attacking So that makes it 1 minute and 20 seconds The Sharp and Blade arena lasted 1 minute and 55 seconds there was 27 seconds to start where I wasn't attacking, so that means it was 1 minute and 28. So 1 minute and 20 versus 1 minute and 20, as you can see. Okay, so in the Shadow Class Arena, I had 26 seconds where I wasn't attacking or I was CC'd. In the Sharpened Blade, I had 19 seconds where I wasn't attacking or I was CC'd. That means that we have a total of 54 seconds with Shadow Classes, and we have 1 minute and 9 seconds for Sharpened Blade. And in them 54 seconds for Shadow Classes, I did 8,940k damage. And in the Sharp and Blade Arena, in the 1 minute 9 seconds, I did 9,170k damage. That means for the 15 extra seconds that we have, we have to work out how much more damage I would have done with the Shadow of the Colossus debuff. So, that being said, we're going to go calculate. And how we're going to calculate that is, we're going to divide 8,940k by 54 seconds. That will give us 1 second. Then we're going to multiply the extra 15 seconds we had by that 1 second, which will give us a total. Then we're going to add that total onto the Shadow Colossus total, which will give us another total, and then we're going to minus the total from Sharp and Blade, which will give us the exact amount more damage that we would have gotten with Shadow Colossus. So, that being said, 8,940k divided by 54 is 157.2k. Multiply that by 15, you get 2,358k plus 8,940k equals. Uh, 10,884k minus 9,170k from the sharpened blade which means we would have done 1,670k more damage with Shadow of the Colossus versus sharpened blade so that means that in the same amount of time we would have done a lot more damage with Shadow of the Colossus than we would have sharpened blade now sharpened blade does also have the fact that it has a 70% reduced healing so all in all I could say if you want more damage Shadow of the Colossus seems to be the way you want more, uh, I guess, CC, because this is kind of a CC. You want to go sharp and blade. Okay, so at the start of the video, you guys see me did some burst. Now, during that burst, I'm going to show you guys me doing actual burst on proper arena targets that are real players moving around and showing you guys how fast I kill them by using both shell classes and using sharp and blade. And it's going to be real time movements, so there's no fakeness here. And then after that, I might show you guys me actually doing a still target as well. So let's get into that. I've been painting every fence. 
So guys, we're at the end of the video. Which do I feel is the better of the two? Well, Sharpen Blade is pretty nice, but the fact that I got a nerf and it used to be 70% reduced thing now down to 50%, and the fact that it doesn't reset Colossus Smash is a big thing because in Arena you need to be able to reset the Colossus Smash, therefore bursting whenever you want to. Now obviously you could spec for things like Titanic Might, but the problem with Titanic Might is even though it kind of gives you 24 second Colossus Smash. It doesn't give you the shard defenses buff which i'll explain why in in the video when i make the warrior guide but that just means that you're losing a lot of damage by using this talent therefore shadow classes is by far the best as a resets class smash and also the fact that it gives you that 15 rage is just icing on top of the cake so therefore my pick shadow the classes by far the better of the two hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and found this video very informative if you did, make sure you leave the video a like to let me know you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos from this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really would appreciate it. Anyways, as always, this is Evno. I love you all. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.